Hi, if you want to add new user to your database and that user CTL is already there in contacts application, then why you would bother in re-entering the details again if you could easily pick it and use it from the contacts application? So in this tutorial, we will add a button. Once we click it, contacts application will launch. Then we could easily select any contacts record as you can see, our user's information will be populated from the returned contacts record. First, open Android manifest file. After manifest element, add permission option for reading from the contacts database. Open the layout file for the new user activity. Drag and drop a button. Right click on it, center it vertically, and center it horizontally. Give it an ID and name it. We are done here. Go to New User Activity. Define the button. and initialize it. Set click listener on the button. Before taking any action in the listener object, make sure you have access permission to the contacts database. Make a check from the contacts compatibility class. Use check self permission method to check if this activity or context with this permission of reading contacts is not granted. If the user refuses the access permission to the contacts database, then we should remind him somehow about how important to have this permission turned on. And thus, we have to disable pick button because we don't have permission right now. Else, from activity compatibility class request permission dialog in this activity in string array specify the permission we want the user to grant for this activity and in the third argument just enter your custom defined request code this method is showing permission dialog with two choices allow and deny now we need to capture user's response by overriding on request permissions result. Check if the request code is equal to the defined one. Permission dialog may have one or many options, but for our case we just have one option, which is reading contacts database. First, check if the length of options is greater than zero. And if the first option in an array grant result is granted by the user, then we could do what we want to do. Else, if the user denied access to contacts, then disable pick button. Now everything is set. If the user granted read permission to contacts database, then we have our pick button active. Else, disabled. Back to pick button listener. Currently, we need to pick a contact from the contacts application. Create an intent object. But this time, we don't know the name of the activity we want to start from the contacts application. So we have to explain to the activity manager what we want to do. First, set the action. There are many actions, like making a call, sending a message, taking a picture, and many more. The action we need to make here is picking a contact. And we need to tell the activity manager the location of the data. Then start activity for result. Give it the intent and our custom defined request code. Override 
on activity result. If the request code is matched and the intent object is not null, then create URI object and get it from the intent by calling get data. This is the path to the contact record we have chosen. Create content resolver object. This object is just like the database object to provide us content from the contacts database. Create a string variable for holding the identifier of the contact record. Create cursor object to return data. From content resolver object, query the contacts database. In the first argument, specify the URI to the record we have chosen. In the second argument, specify which column to retrieve an array string. From contacts table, return ID and display name columns and pass null for other arguments. Create try and finally blocks. In try block, move the cursor to the first record and populate ID variable from the first column and populate first name edit text from the second column. In finally block, close the cursor. Contacts table doesn't have details like phone number, email address, or photo, and so on. We can find these details in its own table structure. Let's see how to get email address. Create cursor object. This time, we are accessing the entire email table. And we need to retrieve just the address column. In the third argument, specify the WHERE clause. We need to retrieve the record whose contact ID matches the placeholder. In the fourth argument, specify WHERE clause arguments. Pass the ID of the contact record we have chosen from the contacts application. Pass NULL in the last argument. Create try and finally blocks. In try block, Move the cursor to the first row, then populate email edit text. In finally block, close the cursor. That's it. Run the application. Add new record. If you visit new user activity for the first time, you will be asked to grant read contacts permission. It's quite obvious, if you choose allow, everything will work as planned. But, let's see what will happen if we deny. Pick button is disabled, but the user even couldn't realize what just happened. So we need to inform him about the important rule of accessing contacts. Go to new user activity. If the user doesn't grant read contacts permission, then we need to display a toast message to let him know why pick button is disabled and how to enable it. Now run the application. If you visit new user activity, you will see a toast message to let the user know what just happened. This time, to enable pick button, we have to go to settings, application manager, tab the app, permissions, enable Read contacts permission. Navigate back to user's application. Restart this activity. And you'll see pick button is active. If you click it, contacts application will launch. You can select any contact. 
As you can see, user's information are populated from the selected contact. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.